Mrs. Jamine, do you remember where we were the last time we talked? Uh, yes, uh, we had encountered a skunk, and I do not like the smell of skunks. <laughs> Shamid, I don't know who does, except maybe another skunk. Shall we find out what happened to Snap and the skunk? Remember, the skunk had asked for a ride down the mountain into the low countries. <clears throat> well, other small animals had hitched rides, and toting one more wasn't a problem for Snap. Though he didn't like the idea of being threatened, the idea of being in his nose, hit in the nose with skunk perfume prevented him from moving. He was about to say something when Squirt turned to face him and whimpered, uh, I can't do it. You didn't do anything to me. I'm not going to squirt you. I can't. I just want to get us safely down the mountain. Well, I'm glad you won't squirt me. But I'm not sure you want to go with me. I'm following the high up crest of the mountains first. A lot of snow all the way, I imagine. Uh, I'll take my chances. I can't stay here. You okay with hauling me? Squirt asked. Well, I've done it before, Snap responded. Well, not a skunk, he went on. But others wanting a ride. Okay, okay, let's get going. Squirt scooted to a nearby log, climbed on it, and then hopped onto Snap's back. Snap trotted off along the trail with his passenger clinging to the fur on his neck. It was a funny sight to see a gray wolf loping over the carpet of white snow with a white striped black skunk straddling his back. You, you always smell like skunk, Snap asked, trying not to breathe Squirt's aroma too deeply. <clears throat> I guess I'm used to it. Doesn't bother us skunks. It's the way we protect ourselves. Sorry. Snap trudged through the snow into the mid-afternoon. When exhaustion forced him to rest, he settled into a bed of needles under a low-hanging bough of a giant fir. Squirt hopped from his back, scurried over the fir branches for bugs, and then caught a mouse napping under a fir cone. He gathered up a mouthful of bugs and laid them in front of Snap to repay the big wolf for transporting him through the heavy layer of snow. At dusk, the pair had reached Willow Lake, where Snap brought down a straggling deer. After eating their fill, they settled down for the night. Of course, Snap howled into the night. He heard coyotes, but no wolf among them. Oh, so what's going to happen next? Well, we'll find out. But the, the, in the meantime, you can go down and get a book. Come up and read it because <clears throat> books are their greatest treasure. You know that. <laughs> With books, you can go anywhere you want to go and be anything you want to be anytime you want to do it. So get a book and read.